Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Laurie here. And is it safe in Mexico? This is something we're going to answer in this video. Now, Lori, let me ask you, do you feel safe in Mexico? Yeah, I feel totally safe in Mexico. I walk alone. I go to school and I walk alone and I just feel comfortable. I didn't feel any fear or any scare uh, like, um, you know, traveling. I just go everywhere. I just feel comfortable. Okay. So you feel comfortable. You don't feel it scary or anything like that. Even when you're, if, when you're with me or without me with you, you feel safe? Yeah, yeah. Huh? I, I, I'm without you or uh, with you. I feel safe. But okay. I didn't get scared. Okay. So we're going to interview some people here today and we're going to get their impression is it safe? And uh, see what they have to say. Is it safe in Mexico? Oh, God, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's actually one of my biggest pet peeves. I cannot believe the mythology that most Americans have. Because uh -huh. okay. it's not real. It's not real. Okay. No. So, so. <laughs> it's a very safe, warm, friendly place. You enjoy Mexico, enjoy all aspects, the people, the, the people, the, the, culture, the culture, yeah, the, oh, the yes. weather. Yeah. We've been coming to Mexico for 20 years. Oh, you have for yeah. 20 years. Okay. Yeah, this is just our second year in an RV. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> they get told, we're all told all the time to be very, very afraid and there's nothing to be afraid. Of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this is good. This, this is really helped out, you know, share this information. The next person I want to talk to, to Stephanie, and I'm going to ask the same question, Stephanie. How long have you coming down here? I've been coming down to Mexico for over 50 years. 50 years? Yeah, I started coming down when I was just a kid with my father. He used to come down here fishing. Oh, that's great. You must have only been five years old. Then. Oh, two. Oh, okay, two years old. Okay. That's right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay, so for 50 years you've been coming down to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Okay, now where are you from? I'm from Southern California. Southern California? Right, right below Santa Barbara. Okay. So, has there been any time where you have yeah. not come to Mexico because of what you heard, you know, in the news and stuff like that? All of the terrible things that's been, you know, said about Mexico around the world. Um, I would say that there was a short time that I did. I didn't go into Baja, but I feel very safe, you know, at this part of Mexico. Okay. There's no reason why I wouldn't come. I wouldn't do anything differently here than I would do in the States. Okay, then we're down, we're, we're approximately 1,200 to 1,500 miles away from the border. Yes. So you feel safer Very in, safe. in this party uh -huh. here. Okay, and uh, you're married, you yes, know what I mean? Am. And your husband? He comes along with me. Comes along with you, he likes it. Yes. Now on the on the uh, Caribbean side over there, how about safe wise? Yeah. Oh, I feel very safe over on that Sa side safe, also. Safe, safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Well, good. Well, this I think this will help our you know viewers get a truer picture of what Mexico really is all about uh, instead of what the press blows up and makes it you know seem just like you know drive down the street there's going to be federales and there's going to be people with guns and stuff like that tonight. we have been here in this town over a month and i've seen the police one time in this town okay and a month that's how safe it is okay <laughs> and i guess that's good yeah. because you're saying there's no crime there's no crime here <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's important you want to sometimes you want to see the police yes yeah. yeah no there's no crime here and none that i've ever seen okay great yeah. okay well thank you stephanie you're welcome well will here's the big question that a lot of people want to know for yourself and of course for your wife is it safe in Mexico you live here full-time you know mm -hmm. and you experience it you know you've experienced a lot of different things overall is it safe in Mexico yeah uh, definitely oh, it's we feel completely safe and my wife does not speak Spanish fluently I'm pretty good uh, I'm also a citizen, by the way. I became a citizen this year. Okay. Or last year. <laughs> you must think it's safe. <laughs> yeah, and I do. You know, we, we enjoy it down here. Um, we don't feel threatened at all. This is Suzanne. And Suzanne, where are you from? I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. Ottawa, Ontario. Okay. 
And yeah. do you come down to Mexico very often? Yes, we'll be coming down. I stay for the winter. You do? And I first came here probably 17 years ago. 17 years ago? Yes. Really? Yes. In that 17 years, there's been a lot of bad press about Mexico. Has it ever stopped you from coming here because you've heard, you know, negative things? No, things? no, not at all, not at all. Um, I feel uh, safe here. Uh -huh. it's, it would be just like your streets at home. You know where to go and where not to go. Okay. And I read my uh, tablet in the morning for my for the news, and I certainly feel I'll take the bus alone. Okay. I won't go out late at night, but I wouldn't do that at home either. Right, right. You yeah. know, and uh, this little town is great, but I I take the bus to Port. Uh -huh. and it's about an hour and come back I'll go to Buseria take the bus alone and never think twice okay you know. so you just go by yourself yes yes and I think it's just these little towns are perfectly fine perfectly and they want the tourists they want the tourists they get the tourists in Puerto Vallarta but these towns the smaller towns all around here they need the tourists okay okay yeah. so so as many years as you've been coming down here then you really, really you've never altered your plans or anything like that because of the bad negative press you know. no no I've ne I never have um, no I can't think of anything different that I've done okay that okay, uh, great. if anything I've traveled I'm traveling more now are you you okay. know yeah okay well great I okay. appreciate this thank you very much okay, okay. thank you okay. well let me introduce you to Chris and Catherine and what the question is do you guys feel safe in Mexico? And how long have you been traveling in Mexico? Uh, this is our third year here in Mexico. And we usually come down for three to four months. And yes, we feel very safe. Okay. Uh, just as safe as we do in the States. We're from Iowa. And uh, it's fine down here. There's been a lot of talk, you know, about violence in Mexico. But, you know, to tell you the truth, most of the situations around the border, what are my, my brother's from El Paso. Oh, okay. So he's a little wary. But um, you get down into Mexico and it's really fine. Um, in the three years that we've been coming down here, um, we haven't heard of any incidents of violence at all. Yes, yeah, yes. so we feel perfectly safe. You just have to use some common sense. Right, right. I wouldn't go out alone at midnight yeah. and go to a bar or, you know, something yeah. like that. Yeah, but you wouldn't do that at home. No, no, I wouldn't do that at home. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It's good. Now, uh, Catherine, from the women's point of view, you know, because that's what the women want to hear. Yeah. Do you feel safe? In fact, just in at the smaller towns, we walk on the streets, you know, even in the evening, uh -huh. and uh, we feel perfectly safe. There's never been any problems. So nobody's pestering you? Or? No, in fact, the people are very friendly, and everybody says hello, buenos dias. Oh, okay. They, buenas noches. Buenas noches, if it's in the evening. They're, they're all very friendly and supportive. Uh -huh. And on the beach, when you're sitting on the beach, do you get people, you know, trying to sell you a bunch of stuff? Oh, the vendors will come by, but they're very courteous. Okay. Okay. So if you if say no, say, they, they no, say no, no, not today. Uh, okay. They're fine. Okay. Yeah, they're very cheerful, and uh, if you say no, they don't go off and so They say no. Happy people. Very happy yeah, that's great. Okay. Well, thank you very All much. Right. I appreciate yeah. you taking the time you, to talk to us. Thank sure. you. <laughs> I want to introduce you to Mary Lou, and Mary Lou's originally from Canada, but you've been living in Mexico. Tell us a little about that. I. I uh, own property in Mexico for seven years, my husband and I. Okay, she owns property in Mexico for seven years. Okay. Yes, and uh, we do live here full time now. Okay. Uh, Mexico, uh, really never had uh, any confrontation with anyone, and uh, no problem. As far as safety goes, we feel very safe in Mexico. I can't say anything bad about it. Okay. It's been a wonderful experience, and it's definitely been an adventure. I want to introduce you to Cassie and Billy. Billy, <laughs> and they also are from Canada, and you're visiting here. Okay. Now, the question is, especially your young lady, do you find it safe in Mexico? Yeah, especially here. I uh, yeah, I never, I never feel unsafe, especially especially here, nice like small local town. And, uh -huh. Yeah, it feels homey, if anything. Okay. Yeah. Well, you must feel safe because yeah. you brought you know, <laughs> your son here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's great. Okay, so would you recommend it for a beaching and for younger people? Yeah. Most of the people here are retired. Yeah. No, I like it. It's nice and relaxing, but it's... Well, I want to introduce you to Leanne. And Leanne is a single woman here. 
And how long have you been coming to Mexico? Like 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's quite a bit of experience of traveling Mexico. So a lot of the people up north, they want to know and they're a little afraid and paranoid about traveling in Mexico. In those 15 years, has it ever stopped you from coming into Mexico? There's never been a time, like you hear about um, these things that are happening, you hear about, well, they certainly hear about But, you know, it doesn't matter whether I'm in Canada or if I'm, I visit the United States, these things happen every So it's just, so from one, from one incident or a couple of incidents, you can't judge the entire country or you can't judge the entire, like, I mean, well, I mean, are people never going to then travel to Thailand or, oh, well, you heard about there was a shoot, if there was a shooting in London, are you not going to go to the UK anymore? Right. Like, it's not, it's, it's, if you're safe about where you go and you know what, and informed about where you're going and if you know people, I think that makes a big difference yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. No problem. And, uh, and I love Mexico and I love... Cool. Very safe. Uh, it's a great environment. These people are phenomenally friendly. Really nice. I mean, I am just amazed at how nice the people are. And you can get by pretty much with uh, English because I don't really speak very much Spanish either. So, good enough. Okay? Okay. Well, thank you, Eduardo. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this little video. And if you would like to see more videos and subscribe, we would appreciate that. You know it's free to subscribe. Press right here and you see my face. It'll automatically send you a new video every week. And also, if you want to see more of our videos, press over here and touch on one of those and you'll get to see other videos that we've made. This has been Jerry Brown. Lori Brown. Bye.